I know some of you guys are looking for ways to boost your immune system at home. So I'm gonna show you the tea that I make and that I drink on a daily basis. Here we go. So these are the ingredients, ginger, lemon, sarsaparilla root, elderberry, yellow dock, garlic, organic raw honey, and cinnamon. Now I prefer a real cinnamon stick, but you know, the way these grocery runs is set up, I'm not going as often. So I use the uh, grounded powder. Once you have all the ingredients, the next thing you're gonna do is prepare everything. Mise en place, okay, get into it. Learn that on Top Chef. I'm a mise en place, these things. So you basically um, crush your garlic or mince it or chop it up in a processor. That's what I usually do. And uh, peel and cut up your ginger. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, garlic is a great antiviral and antibacterial combatant. It aids and helps boost your immune system. And ginger, you know, has been known to reduce inflammation, help with nausea, and aids in digestion. So that's why I put those now, in These there. three beauties, I get them um, in their natural state and I make um, a tea bag out of them. Sarsaparilla, sorry guys, is uh, known for um, aiding with like skin diseases and boosting your immune system because I suffer from hives, I add it to my tea. Yellow dock, of course, is known to help with inflammation and respiratory conditions. And then elderberry is just uh, known for its antioxidant properties. So when you wanna boost your immune system, this is a good one to So add. you guys can see, I take about a half teaspoon and uh, I put them into a tea um, thing, thingy, <laughs> a tea thingy so that I can then put it into my water and have it steep. You're gonna add water to a saucepan. I use Essentia because um, it's 9.5 pH, it's alkaline, and it's purified water. You can use any water that you choose. I just like ones that are have a higher alkaline value. As I said, I like to grate up my garlic and my ginger together. <coughs> Just use chopped or minced or crush them however you need For to. the ladies out there, this concoction is an amazing fat blaster as well. Here's a little tip. When you're making your tea, if you have some extra ginger and garlic left over, what you can do with it is every morning, while it's uh, you know still raw, put a, a teaspoon, with some honey and squeeze a little tinge of lemon on it and then put that in your mouth and chew that on up and swallow that on down. It's an amazing fat blaster. Your water's boiling. You wanna dump all that yummy goodness into your saucepan, okay? Now you need to make sure that the water is boiling already because we're not trying to cook all of the nutrients away. We really just want to blanch. Learn that on Top Chef too. You know, turn your heat off and just let it seep there, uh, covered so that we keep everything inside for about 10, 15 minutes is what I do. You could do shorter if you like. Okay guys, so once you've let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna strain it. I'm not gonna show you how to strain nothing. Now you know you got to get your strainer so that all the ingredients don't go into your daggone uh, container that you're gonna keep it in. I put mines in a water pitcher, you know, and uh, save it, you know, so that I can have it daily to drink. Um, you know, makes a nice cup of tea. The end process is you cut up some lemon slices, you uh, squeeze you some organic raw honey, it has to be organic raw honey in there, and sprinkle 
your this is where your cinnamon comes in if you have a cinnamon stick you can actually put the stick right on in there but like I said, I got the papas. So uh, I sprinkle some cinnamon right on top, stir it up, and I've got a great cup of morning tea. Oh, and uh, I forgot to tell you, this must, um, you have to drink it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Okay, so there it is. Stir that thing on up. Mm-hmm. Get into it. Uh, and, and let me just tell you something about honey in case you didn't know. Honey is amazing. It's way better for diabetics. And I know you guys know I am a type 2 diabetic. It's way better for diabetics than sugar. Okay. And it uh, has antioxidant properties that can help lower blood pressure. So I think that's very, very important. Um, it, it's just, uh, and it, that's why I recommend the organic raw because when you get high quality honey, that's the one that is really rich in antioxidants. So there you go. Enjoy your tea and uh, boost your immune system and blast that fat. Ow.